Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system 1 over x minus 1 plus 1 over y minus 1 is equal to 1 and x plus y is equal to 7. Our job is to find all possible values of x and y. So let's start. Let's call this equation equation number 1 and this equation equation number 2. First we start from this equation number 1. Equation 1 is uh, 1 over x minus 1 plus uh, 1 over y minus 1 equal to 1. We take the LCM of denominators. The LCM is, uh, the LCM is uh, x minus 1 times uh, y minus 1. If we divide this LCM by this uh, x minus 1, we get y minus 1. y minus 1 times this one, y minus 1. This plus will come here. When we divide this LCM by this y minus 1, we get x minus 1. And x minus 1 times 1, x minus 1, equal to 1. Now we rearrange these terms, this will become x plus uh, y. Negative 1 minus 1 will become negative 2 divided by this LCM x minus 1 times uh, y minus 1 equal to 1. If we multiply both sides by this expression, then this implies that uh, x plus uh, y minus 2 equal to x minus 1 times y minus 1. x x plus y minus 2 equal to we expand this expression x times y x y x times negative 1 negative x and negative 1 times y negative y. Negative 1 times negative 1 will become plus 1 and uh, x plus uh, y minus 2 is equal to we rearrange these terms uh, we write this negative x minus y first negative x minus y then we write this plus xy plus xy and in the last we write this uh, 1. Next x plus uh, y minus 2 is equal to from these two terms uh, we can factor out negative sign in bracket left uh, x plus uh, y plus uh, this x y plus uh, 1 now we replace this uh, x plus y and this x plus y with this value 7 from equation 2 Since x plus uh, y is equal to 7, so this will become 7 minus 2 is equal to negative 7 plus uh, xy plus 1. 7 minus 2 is 5 equal to negative 7 plus 1, negative 6 plus uh, xy. Move this negative 6 to the left hand side, this will become 5 plus 6 equal to xy and this implies that x times y is equal to 11. Now we recall equation number 2. Equation 2 is x plus y is equal to 7. Equation number 2 is uh, x plus uh, y is equal to 7. From this equation, if we move this x to the right hand side, this implies that uh, y is equal to 7 minus x. And uh, in this equation, we replace this y with this uh, 7 minus x, then this will become x times uh, 7 minus x equal to 11. And distribute this x, x times 7, 7x. 
x times negative x and negative x squared equal to 11. Move these two terms to the right hand side. This will become x squared minus 7 times x plus 11 is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation and is not factorable. So we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula x is equal to negative b is negative 7 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write negative 7 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 11 divided by 2 times a is 1. Next x is equal to negative times negative 7 will become positive 7 plus or minus square root of this negative 7 squared will become 49 and negative 4 times 1 times 11 negative 44 divided by 2 times 1 will become 2 next x is equal to 7 plus or minus this will become root 5 divided by 2 now to find the values of y we recall that we recall that y is equal to 7 minus x we recall that y is equal to 7 minus x so we replace this x with this value 7 plus minus root 5 over 2 then this will become y is equal to 7 minus 7 plus minus root 5 over 2. We can write the denominator 1 and we take LCM of 1 and 2. LCM of 1 and 2 is 2. 2 divided by 1 is 2. 2 times 7 will become 14. And 2 divided by 2 is 1. So negative times 7 will become negative 7 and negative times plus minus root 5 will become minus plus root 5. This is equal to y. From here we get the value of y is equal to 14 minus 7 will become 7 and this minus plus root 5 divided by 2. And first we found this value of x. x is equal to 7 plus minus root 5 divided by 2. So from here we get uh, two pairs of solutions of uh, x comma y. x comma y is equal to the first pair is uh, 7 plus uh, root 5 over 2 comma 7 minus root 5 over 2. And the second pair is uh, 7 minus root 5 over 2 and 7 plus root 5 over 2. This is the final answer of this problem.